Here we have our domestic cover stitch machine. This machine is strictly for hemming stretch fabrics like t-shirts or dress linings. Let's look at a few functions of the machine to begin. We've got our power button over here. We've got our pedal plugged into the side. And then we have our hand wheel to be able to manually move our needles and two settings over here that we just leave right at neutral. You'll notice that there's a bar indicating neutral on the top and N for neutral on the bottom. This just allows the fabric to feed evenly into the machine and we'll leave these settings as they are. Next, let's move to our tension knobs on the front. We have three, the option for three needles. Often we use two, but we've got three needle options, left, middle, and right. Then we've got our threads in the back, our tree up top, and the furthermost spool is actually gonna function as our bobbin. So we'll take a look inside the machine to see how that's threaded. Let's open up our doors here and take a look inside. The front door slides to the right and comes down. And the side door just pops open just like this so that we can thread that bobbin-like spool. So now let's take a look at how to thread this machine. To thread this machine, we're gonna start with our needles. We are set up with a two needle function right now and we're gonna use our very efficient pull through method. So we're gonna make sure that our presser foot is lifted by the manual lever in the back. And then we're gonna take a hold of our two needle threads and begin to pull. And slowly, gently, we'll see our new thread coming through each of its tension dials and up through each of the guides until we get down to the eye of the needle where it will need to be threaded manually. So here we go. We'll snip off right here in front of the needles. So we're going to thread our needles from the front to the back. We're using our tweezers to make it easier and pulling these thread tails straight out the back. Perfect. And then the left. And you'll notice that the needles sit lower as they come to the right. So this left needle is higher and this right needle sits lower. And here we go. Great, so we have both of our thread tails just sitting out the back and our needles are threaded. Now we're going to pull through the bottom thread, which functions as kind of a bobbin. And we're gonna do that by watching it on the side here. So as this is our back spool coming up through the tree and around the back, there's a great diagram right inside of the machine here, but we can see that new color starting to come through each of the guides. Perfect, and here it is coming now through the pigtail and finally through the under looper. Great. And then we'll just cut off that old thread and set this thread through the back of the machine as well. So now we can close it up and make sure that all of our thread tails are out the back of the machine. There they are, perfect. And now everything is threaded up and we are actually ready to sew. Next, let's take a look at how to replace these needles. The needles we're gonna use on this machine are our regular domestics HA by one, and um, a 75 size is great. What we wanna look for here is the BP, that's ballpoint. And we're gonna use ballpoint needles as much as possible on this machine because we're almost always sewing stretch or knit fabrics. So we're going to use our little Allen wrench here to loosen this just enough so that our needle starts to come down. And gently, without letting it fall into the machine, pulling that out. These needles are domestic, so they have a flat back on the shaft, and so you know that they need to be inserted with the flat to the back and the eye of the needle facing you. So we're gonna take both of those needles out. Now we're only loosening this screw enough to let the needle fall but we do not want to loosen that screw all the way. That little tiny screw is so small, if it falls anywhere down in the machine or on the floor, it's gone 
forever. So we really want to be careful that we only loosen enough to get those needles out. Now, we're going to discard those old needles and insert our new ones. Now, when we use multiple needles, we always want those needles to match each other. So we need to have the same size needle. Uh, we also have the option on this machine, like I mentioned, to have a left, center, or right needle. If we use the center and right, we have a thinner stitch. And if we use the left and right, we have a thicker stitch. We're going to start with a more common thinner, narrower stitch. So I'm going to place our first needle right in the center, and I'm just slowly moving that up until I can't move it up anymore and then tightening. And then we're just gonna slide our right needle right in beside it, again, pushing up as far as it will go and knowing that it sits a little bit lower than beside it. And twisting the screw to tighten that up, perfect. We're just gonna thread those needles front to back. So we've got our tweezers here and we're gonna go straight through that eye. Remember again, to keep those threads on their path and not twist or tangle them right here. They have to go down straight from the guide directly to their matching eye. And same on the right side needle. Perfect, front to back. And then we're just letting those threads go straight out the back. We don't want them to be caught on the presser foot here. We just want them to gently sit off to the side. There we go. All right, we're all threaded up and we are ready to test our stitch. Now that we've got our machine all threaded up and our new needles in, we are ready to get sewing. So we're gonna lift the presser foot and get our fabric started underneath. Lower it back down. And now we are ready to start sewing. Now when we get to the end of our fabric, we're going to manually lift just like we would if we were using a straight stitch machine and lift the presser foot. Then, very important, we're going to pull the fabric back, not to the side and not towards us. The machine will fight you. You have to pull the fabric back to the back of the machine and snip the threads there. Now let's take a look at our stitching. So again, this is the narrow thread option and you can see as I'm tugging on it that we've got a nice, strong, but stretchy hem. And we're practicing on a fabric that is very much like a t-shirt just so that we can test that. Perfect. So again, with the cover stitch, we're just gonna place the fabric underneath lower our presser foot, and just continue sewing. We do not have a reverse function. The stitches are locking with each other underneath. So we are just going forward. And again, when we get to the end, lift our presser foot, lift our needles, and pull directly out the back, snipping our threads. And we'll just check the back to make sure that our stitches are catching and that our hem is nice and stretchy still, but strong and secure, and we see that it is. And beautiful on the front, not skipping any stitches. If we do see skipping stitches, that's an indication of a needle replacement need. But it looks perfect to me.